Hello everyone, let us continue our series. In this video, we will learn how to create spaces inside Revit Map. But before we getting started, let us talk about Revit capabilities. Uh, beside modeling building information, Revit has the capabilities of calculating heating and cooling loads. And to do so, we need to create spaces everywhere in the building. Whatever they are, occupied spaces or unoccupied spaces, this to get the correct results. First, we need to create spaces views. So, from one Mac, we will, we will click duplicate view and then duplicate and rename it to one space. And to make duplicate view duplicate and then rename it to space now we will go to the arc model and click type of properties and take the room bounding box this will help us to indicate the room enclosure so we can create spaces from it and then click OK. Now double click on one space and go to the detail level medium and select course. And after that go to the analyze tab and select spaces. And after that, go to the constraints and select the upper limit, change it to ceiling 1, and the limit offset 0. And also we need to select the type of building, so go to energy analysis, you will see here space type under energy analysis and select the type of building office uh, office enclosed and select ok on modify place space make sure tag on a placement is uh, turned on and go to the space By this method, we add the spaces manually, but you can also create them automatically by clicking place spaces automatically. So as you see, we have 22 spaces. Now we can extract the room names from the linked arc model. So go to the space naming and uh, option names and numbers all levels and select ok and as you see there are 22 spaces with their names and numbers one more thing when creating spaces we have to pay attention to upper limit constraints and its offset now type vg and under uh, spaces, you will see interior and reference. Turn them on and click OK. Now let us modify the name of the spaces for the shafts. Click on this space and drag these to here make sure you tick the leader so you can drag uh, the tag name now we can modify this to shaft and the number the same thing for these spaces
Now we need to select these three shafts and modify the height. So, so here at upper limit, change it to roof and the limit offset minus 21 centimeter. And under energy analysis, select unoccupied. So untick this and also change the condition type to unconditioned. When Revit calculates heating and cooling load, it will not count the unconditioned and unoccupied spaces. Now let us modify the electrical room. Go to the upper limit and select level 2 and the limit offset minus 20. And the stairwell spaces. The upper limit level 2 and the limit offset is 0. Now we will create the plenium spaces. So double click on one plenium and type VG and turn on the spaces and reference under uh, the interior and reference under spaces and click OK. Three restrooms. As you can see, we have here six spaces, three restroom shafts, and the electrical room, and and two stairwells. Now create space. We need to change the upper limit to level two minus twenty and the base offset 5.2. Go down for the name and select Plenium and uh, tick this for the Plenium and as you can see Revit automatically select uh, unoccupiable and unconditioned for the Plenium space. And now we can put this manually. And here we can see the plenum space. Now we have finished the first floor. We can repeat the same steps for the second floor and create spaces for it. After that, let us now learn how to create section for a specific space. Double click on one space and go to this icon and let us take the section here and move here and click and double click on the section and we can see the section view. Now type VG and go to the levels let us turn off the levels okay and also we need to uh, turn on the interior and references under spaces and I click ok on the properties of the section we can turn off this crop region visible and click upload now we need to specify the section for its discipline. Okay, so how to move this section under the HVAC discipline? Go to the section, section one, and go to the discipline, mechanical, and then a sub discipline HVAC, click apply. So we have here sections. Now we need to assign the type of space for each space. So we can select open space 
control and the second open space and under energy analysis we can select the space type so we can change this to op uh, office open plan and ok and then select the conference room and go to the space type and select conference conference meeting multipurpose and select ok and now for the lounge we can select this and go to the space type select the three dot and search on lounge and you can see this select it and click ok and now we can select the men's room and the ladies room and go to the space type and search for restroom click ok and now for the electrical mechanical room go and select electrical mechanical and click ok now for the front entrance and the rear entrance select space type and uh, lobby lobby hotel and click ok now for the corridors go to the space type and select corridor transition now for the stairwell go and select stair stairway okay and the rest of the offices are offices enclosed and here we have finished for this video in the next video we will learn how to create zones thanks for watching see you soon goodbye